Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the purpose of duplexer and what are the different types of radar waveforms we use in the pulse radar communication. So, in the basic principle of radar, what I have explained in the previous video, the same diagram I have taken. Now, in this video, I will explain what is the importance of duplexer. What is the importance of duplexer? That means how a single antenna can be acting as both transmitting section, transmitting antenna and as well as receiving antenna. Okay, the answer is duplexer. What is the question? How a single antenna is transmitting, is acting as transmitting antenna and as well as receiving antenna? The answer is duplexer. See, during transmitter time, during transmitting time, the antenna transmits the signal. Suppose when object is there, the signal will be reflected back and that reflected signal will be collected by this antenna and sending to the receiver. That means how a single antenna is doing both the things. That is the thing here. Okay. See how it is simply acting as single, single antenna is acting for the both purposes is here we need to place a duplexer at this particular location we need to place a duplexer what is the main purpose of duplexer is duplexer will separate the transmitting signal and as well as receiving signal okay one thing is antenna can act as transmitting antenna and as well as receiving antenna Another thing is, it protects, it protects the receiver from damage. It protects the receiver from damage. This is the main purpose of a duplexer. Duplexer will do these two things. Okay. See here. Uh, now, consider a duplexer here, consider a duplexer here, what it will do is, during transmitting section, during transmitting section is in on, that means so during transmission, the signal will be sent to the forward direction, okay, it is actually having, let, it, let us consider three ports are there. Actually, four ports are there for a duplexer. Fourth port is permanently terminated. So, it is having three ports. So, first port is connected to the transmitter. Second port is connected to the antenna. And third port is connected to receiver. So, when the signal is transmitted in the forward, that means from transmitting section, the input is coming at the first port. That signal will be directly goes, goes to the second port. Nothing but which is having the succeeding port. <laughs> one succeeding port is two so that the input signal will be going to the second port and the signal will be radiated into the free space during reception during reception what happens the received signal now enters through port two so that input from port two that goes to the succeeding port that means two succeeding port is three so, the signal will be coming out from third port and it is sending to the receiving section. That means, the duplexer is designed in such a way that the input coming from first port must reach the second port and there is no power enters from the third port. How it protects, how it protects the receiver? Transmitting signal is having kilowatts of power. Listen carefully. Transmitting signal is sending kilowatts of power because we need to transmit the signal such a long distance to identify the object. <laughs> okay, suppose if duplexer is not there, some part of the signal there is a chance for leakage signal entering into the receiver. Okay, if that high power signal enters into the receiver, receiver damages. Why? Because Receiver is designed in such a sensitive manner to receive such weak echo signals. I told you what is the amount of received signal strength. It is around minus 13 watts. 
to receive such weak echo signals so what is the sensitivity of the receiver receiver sensitivity must be very high very high okay as receiver sensitivity is very high if such kilowatts of power enters into the receiver simply receiver damages to prevent that action we need to use a duplexer here okay that is the main purpose that means during transmission the signal will not go into the receiver and again during receiver as well as during reception the signal will not go into the transmitting section okay that means a single antenna during transmitting section it acts as only transmitter during receiving section it acts as only receiver so a duplexer will serve these two purposes <laughs> that is the main purpose of duplexer actually Actually, in the basic principle, we will not show the duplexer. We, to show, we have shown only transmitting section, receiving section, antenna and explain those three. But when we go in depth, how the transmitting, how the single antenna can, uh, can be acting as both the transmitting and as well as receiving and how the receiver is being protected, that is coming through the duplexer concept. <laughs> now, Coming to the radar uh, range measurement, how the range going to be measured in simple terminology, in simple terminology. So range is nothing but distance, range is nothing but distance. So using basic uh, standard formula, how a range or a distance can be calculated, now you will see here. The distance to the target is determined by measuring the time taken for the radar signal to travel to the target and back so now here we have a radar system and here it is the object now how the distance can be calculated is it sends the signal radar system sends the signal towards the object and object whenever the signal touches this object the signal will be reflected back what a radar system will do in determination of range is it calculates the time period of signal when it is originated here and when it is again collected back by the radar system. The time gap between the releasing of signal again collected back by the signal, this time gap is going to be calculated. <clears throat> because of this time only you are going to find the distance between the radar system and the object. Okay. <laughs> Next, what is the velocity of the signal that is traveling between the radar system and the object? See, the signal which is traveling here is an electromagnetic signal. The signal which is traveling here is an electromagnetic signal. See, in the previous example, previous principle, transmitter sends electrical signal when it is transmitting through antenna that signal will be converted into electromagnetic signal em signal the signal which travels in the free space is an electromagnetic signal what is the velocity of this electromagnetic signal what is the velocity of the electromagnetic signal velocity of electromagnetic signal is nothing but velocity of light velocity of light c 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second <laughs> So, the direction or angular position of the target may be determined from the direction of arrival of the reflected wave front. Reflected wave front. So, electromagnetic energy propagates at a speed of light. C. Electromagnetic energy propagates at a speed of light. Same, whatever the velocity of the light is, the same EM signal is also having the same velocity C. <laughs> that is C here. Okay, which is given as 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. That is C. So, C is given like, like this. And now, see here. This is the radar system. And this is the object. We know the basic standard formula. Distance is equal to velocity into time. Distance is equal to velocity into time here what is the distance distance between radar system and the distance between radar system and the object very easy listen carefully velocity velocity of whom velocity of electromagnetic signal time time of whom time of the em signal travels between the radar system and the object okay 
Now, the distance is nothing but distance traveled by the electromagnetic signal. So, all the parameters are related to electromagnetic signal that is traveled between the radar system and the object. Now, when the signal is originated at this point, it goes up to this point and again coming back, coming back and collected by this radar system. So, what is the total distance traveled by this radar system, uh, waveform? Let us consider the distance between these two is nothing but r. Then what is the total distance traveled by the signal? One direction it has to go and again when object is identified again in the reflected back it is traveling in the r distance. So r distance in the forward direction and r distance in the reverse direction. So totally it has to travel to r distance that is the distance traveled by the signal is equal to velocity of electromagnetic signal. What is the velocity of electromagnetic signal c into let us consider P is the time taken by the radar uh, signal to travel from radar system to object and again collected back by the radar system that is TR. Okay, so we can write it R is equal to CTR by 2. Here it is there. R equal to CTR by 2. Why 2 is coming? Hope you understand now. 2 is nothing but 2R. Actually, if it is on this side, it is 2R. Nothing but the electromagnetic signal has to travel round trip time. We can call it as round trip time. Total signal has to travel from radar to object and again from object to radar system. That is nothing but 2R. So, the range in kilometers, you can write it as, that means C is nothing but 3, 3 by 2, 0. Uh, uh, 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5, just uh, the time is written in terms of microseconds, so 0 0.15, whereas the time is written in terms of microseconds, just uh, the units are being changed. Kilometers range, if the range is written in terms of kilometers, then the time is written in terms of microseconds. So, and one more is also there in general communication, radar communication, the range is measured in terms of nautical miles rather than kilometers. So, range in nautical miles, again the same equation is going to be changed as 0 0.081 TR, which whereas the time is in terms of microseconds. This relation is because one nautical mile is equal to 1.852 kilometers. One nautical mile is equal to 1.852 kilometers. This conversion you need to remember because in problems, in problems he may not be <coughs> given like uh, what is the value of kilometers. He will calculate, he will ask you to calculate in the nautical miles. Then you should know this conversion. So each microsecond of round trip travel time corresponding to a distance of 0 0.081 nautical miles, 150 meters or 164, like that different uh, values are given in terms of meters, yards and feet. Okay. So this is about the calculation of range R is equal to CTR by 2. You need to remember this formula R is equal to CTR by 2. Simply using the standard notation distance is equal to velocity into time. Okay, so remaining topics uh, like radar waveforms and um, remaining topics we will discuss in the next class.